Hey, it's Dave. So artificial intelligence is changing everything. I mean, can you believe it? It's just been a year since ChatGPT was released. And already we've got this huge amount of development happening in artificial intelligence across many areas and fields. Now, I think one of the biggest areas that AI will revolutionize is the area of robots or robotics. And before AI, robots were largely programmed through heuristics or rule-based programming. You'd have to tell a robot to do X, Y, and Z, or if this happens, do this. And it was very restrictive. Um, ro robots could do certain things repetitively very well, but they weren't very intelligent. But all of this is about to change as you stick these huge neural nets into robots so the robots can understand and interact with the world around. In this video, I wanna present kind of a hypothesis or a theory of how a company can become the leader and who it will become the leader of robotics. And here's the theory put very succinctly is the company that has the most local inference will win robotics. Okay, let me repeat that. The company that has the most local inference will win robotics. Now in this video, I'll explain what this means. So local inference means the ability to run these neural nets on the local device, right? Whether, let's say it's a phone, it's a car, it's a robot, etc. But you're taking these neural nets and you're running them locally, right? And that's what I mean by local inference. And the reason why the company who has the most local inference will win robotics is because with local inference, you can drastically reduce the latency and cost right, to run AI. And this is especially important in terms of real world AI. Now, if it's just kind of text back and forth, you could, yeah, you could do it via APIs and through the internet. However, when it comes to massive amounts of data and video, for example, video from multiple angles constantly and being fed, it just isn't realistic to send all of that video right to the cloud to be analyzed and to be sent back. The latency is just terrible and there are huge costs involved as well. And so the companies, I think, that have the best and the cheapest local inference will have a huge advantage with the coming robot revolution. Now, as I started out this video, I said the company that has the most local inference will win. Now I need to kind of qualify that because it's not just having a lot of local inference that wins or the most. The local inference needs to be cheap enough where consumers want to buy it, right? There's some type of value proposition. Also, the local inference needs to be at a low energy consumption, meaning it can't just be, you know, 30 minutes of battery life. It has to, you know, work in a way where it can consume um, low enough energy where it can last a long time. And this is where I think Tesla really shines. And this is where their years of investment and experience really comes into play. Tesla has developed a local inference computer, basically their FSD computer. And they've already worked on multiple iterations of this FSD computer that runs in their vehicles. Now this FSD computer is a custom right, computer. It's not just a chip, but it's actually the whole computer. And one of the advantages is it's designed to run neural nets. And it's designed to run neural nets at extremely low energy consumption. And the reason why Tesla had to invest in creating this custom computer is because there's nothing off the shelf that could provide them with enough compute power at right, the energy consumption that they needed. So Tesla had to create their own computer. Now what this allows Tesla to do is it allows them to have this massive local inference right, computer that they can stick in their vehicles and they can stick into humanoid robots. And the result is they can deliver high performance right, with neural nets at a low cost, right? they're mass producing right, these uh, computers and they're custom designing these chips and they can do it at low energy usage, which is key. Now, all three of these factors are crucial. Like if you have a computer that costs, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, like who's going to buy that computer, right? For what usage? Also, again, if a computer has too high energy usage, right? It just isn't practical as well. And Tesla, by working on this for many years, has really come up with an elegant solution that they're iterating on and improving um, year after year. Now, let's take a, do an exercise here. Let's think about what it'll take to replicate what Tesla has in terms of local inference capability and to apply that into a robot. In other words, what will other robot makers have to do to catch up to Tesla? All right, first off, number one, they're gonna need the hardware that goes into the robot. So right now, there's nothing out there that, that will give you the amount of compute 
right, that Tesla has in their local FSD computer for the low energy consumption, right, that the computer takes. So that's why Tesla has had to invest and design and really roll it out themselves. So in order to compete, you'd either have to wait for something to come off the shelf, let's say like Nvidia over time, or you'd have to make something yourself. And this really puts you at a disadvantage because Tesla's marching ahead with these amazing, right, compute engines inside, right, their cars and their robots, and you're having either to make it yourself or to wait, right, for years for someone else to do something as good as Tesla does. All right, number two, you're gonna need a real world foundation model. Now this is really difficult because it requires a massive amount of data, massive amounts of training, and you can have massive amounts of training compute that you're gonna need right, to run all this stuff. In other words, you're gonna to have to have one of the most ambitious AI projects, one of the best right, world-class AI teams out there to come up with a real-world foundation model. Now, there are a lot of companies doing large language models, and that's largely, I would say, a solved problem in the sense that um, people know how it works and what to do. Sure, the the trajectory and at what point will it end or what will it do um, is still yet to be seen. But in terms of a real world foundation where AI is learning and knowing how to navigate the real world and understand the real world, that is something that hasn't been fully cracked and Tesla is in the lead, but yet it's requiring a massive amount of data, much more than I think um, LLM will require. All right, number three thing that you're gonna need to catch Tesla as a robot maker is you're gonna have to shrink and quantize that model to run locally. And what I mean by this is you're going to have this huge model, let's say this real world foundation model that understands the world, right? Just takes any video, whatever, and knows how to interact and understand the world quickly, right? But you're going to have to shrink that to run locally. And that's actually a very difficult thing. And Tesla is doing this constantly because what's happening is for every FSC release, they're having to shrink and quantize their model to run in their cars because their cars can't run the same model or say as a supercomputer in the cloud can. So Tesla has a lot of experience. It's not a trivial problem. This is something you have to build. All right, the fourth thing you're gonna have to replicate is a data pipeline in order to continually improve the model. It's not just good enough to have a simple model. You need the model to get better and actually be super competent, super accurate, and you need a data pipeline. Tesla has this, right, with all of their cars um, feeding in, right, the right data to make this real world foundation model accurate and efficient, competent. Um, yeah, someone has to figure this out in order to compete with Tesla as well. Now, you need all of this stuff even before you start to build your robot because you have a robot, but your robot is a dumb robot. It doesn't know what to do. So in order to give the robot the brains that it needs, you need right the local hardware, you need the whole AI stack, you need the real world foundation model, you need the data, you need the compute and the cloud, you need all of this in order for you to get the brains into the computer. Now, I'm not saying that there won't be any companies that do this. I think the robot market is huge. It's gonna be one of the biggest markets ever and that there will be a lot of companies that provide some or part of these solutions. And it's gonna be something that's developed over time. So Tesla won't be the only player in the robot market, but Tesla has built an impressive tech stack for robots, both in terms of local hardware, training compute, you have the real world foundation, you've got the data pipeline, all of this supports Right, their humanoid robot, which they are preparing to manufacture at scale. So here's what separates Tesla from the rest. Tesla's got this unique combination of artificial intelligence. They've got the data, they got the real world foundation model, the compute in the cloud, but they also got the local inference, right? The local hardware that drives their FSD beta cars, but also will drive their humanoid robots. And what that allows is for Tesla to manufacture right, this hardware at scale, get the economies of scale, bring down the cost, improve its performance. And so straight off the bat, Tesla has a huge, huge advantage when it starts to manufacture humanoid robots. In other words, Tesla has the brain, they've got the hardware, they've got all of the pieces really to jump out ahead in perhaps what could be the biggest market ever. Um, which is humanoid robots. All right, hope this has been helpful. If it was, go ahead, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.